park today. Hi, morning everyone. Welcome back to my live broadcast. As promised last week, I mentioned I will do a U.S. general election series, right? I begin from today. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, it will be about the U.S. general election, the influence of the U.S. general election on the stock market, okay? And uh, today is the first uh, talk of, uh, of this uh, series, right? So the topic today, I will talk about uh, Trump or Biden, who is elected as um, president. Is it really that important? Okay, I will talk about firstly about the U.S. general election. What investors really care about? Is it just the results? Who is elected as the president? Okay, and then secondly, I will talk about two stocks that are worth your attention. One is P Pfizer, and the other one is Singapore DBS. Okay, later I will give you some uh, detailed analysis about these two stocks. And then the third part will be about the individual stock analysis, right? So get your individual stocks ready now. Okay, so before we begin, I still need to remind you that all the stocks mentioned in the video are for the purpose of demonstration and education. No recommendation. Investors should be aware of the risks involved in stock trading and take full responsibilities for their own tradings. And then about the general election, right? So it's just uh, uh, roughly 15 days uh, I think it's 12 days uh, left. So today is already 19th, right? 19th and uh, then uh, the election it comes uh, 3rd November, right? 3rd November. So that's um, how, how many days you can calculate. So uh, 19, so 11 plus uh, 3, 15 days, right? 15 days left before the election and for trading days we've got only 12 so is it yeah 12 trading days because we check so for this week we got five trading days next week another five that's 10 then plus um, monday tuesday and then first uh wednesday that's um yeah, Monday, Tuesday. So Tuesday will be uh, 3rd uh, November, right? So we've got only 15 trading, uh, sorry, f uh, 12 trading days left. And altogether, 15 days left before the general election. So uh, what ordinary retailers care about, actually, is not who is um, elected. Rather, they care about the end of the uncertainty that the market is now in, the end of the uncertain market situation, right? So currently, uh, the market we have checked, a, it has been uh, within the support level and the resistance levels for the indexes, right? So. If we uh, check again, I think you are already very familiar because I talk about almost every session for the U.S. market. Now, the situation is below we have a strong support and then above we have a strong resistance, right? We have a resistance above around the Tai Chi signal, the high price for S&P 500, that's uh, 3,566 and then for uh, the support level the yellow lines is around 3,398 so the price would be fluctuating within the support and the resistance levels right and considering we only have um, 12 trading days left 
means maybe before the election, uh, the result come out, the price might continue fluctuating within the levels because this is the uncertain state we are in. Before we really get the result, then the uncertainty remains, right? So after the after we really get the result, actually, retail investors would uh, uh, know what to do next. You can ask yourself, are you also waiting for the result to decide whether or not uh, you, 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 you would uh, buy or sell uh, uh, U.S. Uh, stocks? So many of, um, my, uh, of homely members, I, as far as I know, they told me that currently they are looking on because they are waiting for the result, right? Because before the result come out, people feel uncertain. But once we got result already, then that's already uh, certain, then we uh, then the retailers would see what where the market is at that moment, and then uh, will know whether or not they can enter or they should uh, uh, still uh, wait, continue waiting, right? So for retail investors, actually, they are just looking on to wait for the result, the at the certainty, they're waiting for the certainty, and means the end of the uncertainty situation, uncertain situation now, right? And then actually the opinion of the retail investors is not that important. We say the market movement mostly is determined by those big boys, right? The big institutions, then. What the big, what the opinion, the opinions of the big institutions that matters, right? So it is the opinion of the big boys that matters. And then, how do we know the opinion of the big boys about the result of the general election? So here, uh, we have a big money poll. This poll is based on one hundred thirty-seven professional. Fund managers across U.S. Okay, they these represent the big boys, right? So, what they think about the result of the uh, U.S. general election that matters. And then, according to the poll, when it comes to which candidate as president would be best for the stock market, seventy-five percent of this one hundred thirty-one. 37 uh, 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 fund managers, they believe that if Donald Trump won, that's um, best for the stock market. Okay, 75% believe Donald Trump won, that's the best for the stock market. Only 25% believe if Joe Biden wins the election, that's the best for the stock market. Means the big institutions, they're thinking that Trump win would uh, wins would be uh, uh, better. And then how about for the economy? Which candidate as president would be the best for the economy? So 60% of these big boys, they believe Donald Trump win, that's the best for the economy. Only 40% believe that um, if Joe Biden wins, that's the best for the U.S. economy. Okay, so means what? If the result comes as Joe Biden wins, right? So if that in that case, maybe the market would uh, drop first for at least a uh, short term for short term, and uh, especially if uh Joe Biden wins and then Donald Trump would uh, disagree. And it happens in the history. The president, current president, disagree with the results of the election. Then there might be some further argument. And then uh, it will take some other time before the final result come out. So if really Biden wins uh, on 3rd November, and if Donald Trump uh, disagree with this result, it's possible that the final result of the U.S. Uh, gen uh, U.S. president um, might come maybe until end of this uh, year.
it's possible, right? Then in that case, for retailers, they will be that's uh will be greatly um upset by this news because the uncertainty has to remain for even longer time until end of the year. So either for retailers or for the big boys, they will feel upset about the result here. So maybe the market would uh, drop first, at least for short term. But to tell you the truth, if the market really drop, drop that is healthy for the market. Okay, the correction in September, we say this is somewhat a significant correction, but it didn't last for that long time. If the market and job can drop again after the general election, so that would be the best for uh, invest investors in the stock market. Because after another correction, the market will be at a lower position. It will be healthier to buy again, to consider buy again. Okay, and then if Donald Trump wins, that uh, that fits the expectation of the big boys, right? Or let let's say most of the or majority of uh the big boys expectation of the majority of big boys, and then it's possible that market might hit a new high. For uh, firstly, for short term, uh, because currently the price is already very close to the previous high and we check the Tai Chi signal just now right so the Tai Chi signal is around the previous high if Donald Trump really wins the election may uh, uh, stimulated by such news market might hit a new high first it's possible but it's it doesn't necessarily is a good thing it's not necessarily a good thing for the stock market because the market would be quite high. If it hit a new high, we don't want to chase after the rally. So maybe we still need to consider uh, looking on for a while, right? Because we don't want to chase after the rally, right? And the market movement has its own regularities. Even if people feel op optimistic or satisfied about Donald Trump winning the election, still, if the price is already at a very high position for the market, the market will find a way to drop first. Maybe there would be some other news come out by then so that the market would drop first. Then maybe in future would continue going up. Why am I keep saying that the market might continue going up in future? Because according to the same poll, so when it comes to uh, uh, what really would uh, influence the market in the long run, actually it is the economy recovery, especially for now it's the COVID-19 vaccine that is more important than who wins the election okay so who wins actually it's not that great influence for long in the long run for the u.s market and for the global market what matters more is how speedy how fast the economy can recover and how soon the covid19 vaccine can come out right and uh, according to the poll just now, um, sixty percent of the big boys, big institutions, they uh believe that uh the vaccine would come out uh the first half of uh, twenty twenty. So first half of twenty twenty, and then twenty five percent of the big institutions they believe that. The vaccine can come out the second half of twenty twenty because this poll was um produced in September, so um that's why a a a at that moment uh twenty five percent um of the institutions they think the uh, probability a uh, that uh, the vaccine can come uh is uh, uh is not that high right. 
so only twenty five percent. But if you have been monitoring the 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 news, and then we know that a P phase right, so is likely to apply to the FDO for COVID nineteen vaccine emergency use authorization. The third week in November, okay. The third week in November, if really everything turns out to be a、uh, good, the result turns out to be good, and then, uh, we will soon have the, uh, the safe vaccine in use, and it's po really possible that before the end of this year, the vaccine can come. So the probability that the vaccine can come. Um, by the end of this year, becomes now higher than in September when the poll was produced, right? And even the most pessimistic opinion is um, it it says that fourteen percent believe that, uh, the vaccine come the second half of twenty twenty. It's not a very long time, uh, until uh, it's not a very long time to wait, right? So the worst. To expect is the vaccine can come out the second half of twenty twenty one. So means it's not a problem for the economy to recover little by little, right? So means economy uh re uh economic recovery is for sure. If uh if we are optimistic, maybe the vaccine come by the end of this year. Then. The recom economy can recover at a faster speed, even if the most pessimistic opinion, then, the uh the vaccine come twenty uh second half twenty twenty one still the co uh, the economy would uh begin to recover next year right so means the prospect is bright so that's why we see the you the the market would still in the the for the general direction would be a. Up what in future, right? Because economic recovery is a sure thing. It's just a matter of time. Earlier it comes earlier, or it comes a bit later. If even if it comes a bit later, it's not that late, right? Next year, second half of next year. Okay, so that's why we see the market, the general direction up what after the election, um. Uh, in the end, the market, the U.S. market, would ah、uh, continue going up. But for short term, we need to talk about uh when it comes to to that point point of time, what the concrete situation is. Then we can know for short term, the what the pro the pro uh performance might be might likely be right. Okay, so that's for uh you see this is the poll the poll uh. Uh, based on the one hundred thirty-seven, uh, professional fund managers, right? So they believe that fifty-four percent of the of these uh institutions believe the market would be bullish in the next twelve months, and thirty-three percent believes it's neutral, and only thirteen percent believe that in future twelve months in future the market uh remain uh would be. Bearish, so means majority, majority still think that the future is bright, just like what I have mentioned, right? People are optimistic, especially the big institutions. They are optimistic about the future of the economy, the future of the stock market, and then, uh, fifty percent of these in institutions believe that currently the market is fairly valued. And forty four percent believes it's a、uh, overvalued, and only six percent believes undervalued. Means that, uh, in future, if there is a another correction, maybe relatively speaking, bigger correction for medium term, that would be would be the best or would be healthy for the stock market, because after that, then more and more people would have uh would have believe the market. A fairly valued now, a a a still forty four percent, not a small amount, right? Actually, a a a a big amount of the institute、uh, the institutions believe market now is overvalued. So if after correction, then I believe most of the 
institutions would believe the market is fairly valued. So then the valley in future would be a great one after a healthy uh, correction, right? So means that our chances in future would be a great. Okay, so if chance is a great in future, then the next thing is how we can catch the opportunities, right? And then today I already uh, analyzed for you that the results of who is um, elected as um, a president, Joe Biden or Donald Trump, it doesn't matter that much. It has some short term influence on the market, right? But in the long run, the, the economy recovery and the COVID-19 vaccine has the same, right? For the long term performance for the stock market. And then, uh, but it doesn't mean that who is elected, it, uh, it, it has um, not so much influence on some sectors, some, uh, some industries, because uh, different uh, parties, Joe Biden or, or Donald Trump, they represent different parties, right? So different parties, they have different policies. So the po political policies, they have uh, a greater influence on different industries. Okay, so means tomorrow I will talk about the influence of the result of uh, the U.S. general election on different in, uh, industries or sectors of the stock market. Okay, so that's for uh, Wednesday, right? Because uh, I, I mentioned Monday, Wednesday, Friday would be the general election series. So tomorrow will be some other topic. And then uh, Wednesday, I will talk about the influence of the U.S. general election on the di on different in uh, on different industries and sectors of the U.S. stock market. Okay, and then uh, now I want to go to some individual stocks. The first one I want to uh, share with you is P Pfizer, because I mentioned just now, right? So, uh, so P Pfizer. It's going to. It's likely to apply the uh the vaccine emergency use authorization as early as uh the third week in November, right? So if really the the uh the results of the third phase trial uh prove uh, the safety of the uh, vaccine of P Pfizer means what it will be a great news either for the general market for the economy or for this company itself if it is successful then it might be the first first company to have the safe and effective vaccine for covid-19 that would be great and p pfizer already uh, made it clear that they want to make profit they tend to profit from this vaccine means this vaccine will not be provided to the public for free. They will charge, right? So means the profit of P Pfizer would be great in future, right? If the vaccine really proved to be safe and effective. Now we're still waiting for the result, right? So it's also possible if the result's negative, the, the vaccine proves to be not safe. A very serious uh, side effects, then for P Pfizer, the price might turn down what maybe great jobs, right? So now we still need to uh, wait and see, but the prospect is good and the probability that uh, the vaccine is safe and effective is uh, relatively speaking high, right? Because um, now it's already the third phase of the trial, right? And as far as the information we get from now, um, it seems like quite a high probability that the vaccine can be proved to be safe and effective, right? And But still, we don't have 100% uh, certainty. Still need to wait and see. And then when the news came out last uh, Friday, 
I, I cannot remember very clearly. I think it's either last Friday or uh, last weekend. The news came out that uh, PFAS is going to apply uh, for for this uh, authorization for emergency use um, very soon, right? And then we have the first risk last Friday. Because people uh, feel optimistic about the news. And then first risk and we see for PFAS, retailer already gone completely. And now the price is above the white lines of homely rainbow, above the yellow lines of homely rainbow. For long term, for medium term, it's uh, bullish. It's bullish. And then the purple line is turning up what? Okay, so for at least the short term, the pattern looks uh, beautiful, right? The pattern looks beautiful for short term. Above, do we have resistance? We also can check the resistance above. Around what level the resistance is the biggest? Let me check the chip distribution. And we see that above, when the price uh, a go up in near future uh, to reach $39.33, uh, right? So that, that would be the strongest resistance. Strongest resistance for P feather. So if the price can break up that resistance level, then above uh, f uh, uh then P feather can go up to a higher level, right? This is the strongest resistance between thirty nine dollars thirty three cents thirty three cents and uh thirty nine dollar ninety three cents. Okay, once price in future can break up this resistance level, then we have greater potentiality for P phaser. I believe if the news came out uh, by uh, the third week in November and the result ten turned out to be uh, uh, optimistic and good news and then uh, no, no problem, the price can break up the resistance here. For short term now, uh, let's say the first recycle, we said we know the resistance level in future, right? And then for short term, if you already bought, all right, you, you have already bought this share, you can keep holding. You can keep holding until the price uh, reach the resistance level I mentioned just now, okay? And then for... If you haven't bought yet, right? So you are you you after you see the first recycle, you are think, thinking that uh is there opportunity? Yeah, you can try and don't forget a half level of the first recycle candle, uh which is a long bullish bar, right? I mentioned for long bullish bar, you always can check the half level. To set it as your stop loss level. If you buy in near future, a a drop below the level half of the long bullish bar, you stop loss. If it remain above the half level, you can keep holding until the price reach the resistance levels I mentioned. This is for short term how to deal with P feather, and also we combine with the news, right? So. Uh, we uh, for short term, if you want to try, you can try, and then for long term, we need to see uh, how the news turned out to be uh, in November, the third week in November. Okay, the result of the uh, safety of the vaccine. Okay, so that's for P feather, which is which is worth our attention, and the other one is. A Singapore stock I want to talk about, which is DBS. Okay, so for DBS, why I want to talk about DBS now? Because we see now DBS back to the white lines of homely rainbow, right? So white lines now is the strongest resistance because it represents the long-term trend, right? It's the strongest resistance, but if the price break up the white lines of homely rainbow, it would be what we call the birth of dark horse, right? Means long-term bullish reversal. 
if the U.S. Uh, if the U.S. market just now we mentioned really uh turns out to be quite bullish, still quite bullish in future, uh for in the long run, right? The general direction for the U.S. upward, then Singapore market, and if it really follow the suit, follow the performance of the U.S. market, and then for our STI, also. The future is bright. In the long run, the direction would be upward, right? And then, for such blue chips as DBS, right? So it will be the same direction as the index. If STI up in the long run, then our DBS also would be up in the long run. Okay, so means if really in future. DBS break up the white lines. White lines turn up. What means for DBS? This this is the long term bullish reversal. For those who pray for medium term to long term trading, this might be a perfect timing to consider. Uh, let's say establish your position, open your position, right? Open position for medium term to long term. But now we uh we still are waiting for the price price break up the white lines and here we see actually we have a Tai Chi signal right so this yellow Tai Chi signal here after the yellow Tai Chi signal the price unable to break up the high of the yellow Tai Chi right so the yellow Tai Chi and the white lines of Homely Rainbow they both are acting as strong resistance but. If in future the price really break up the white lines above the high price of the yellow Tai Chi, in future if there is another correction and touch the level, it would be no longer resistance, rather support. If in future the price get a support, turn upward again, means this is the double confirm confirmation of the long term bullish reversal. For either short term trading or for medium term to long term trading, by then DBS would、uh, give us greater opportunities or greater possibilities. Okay, so we need to keep a close eye on DBS. It might mean opportunity coming in future. Maybe we cannot buy now because for short term. It's already very high for short term first risk or short term buy point. After that, the price already, uh, very high, uh, very far away from the first risk or candle. The price right means now we definitely would not chase after the rally and faced with strong resistance. Possible that maybe the price might drop first, the circle might turn wide first. And after some correction, next time if re if price really break up the white lines and the yellow Tai Chi signal, and then in future we have another recycle. And meanwhile, if the big boys already uh um、uh, appear and increase, then that would be the safest to either trade for short term or maybe open position for medium term to long term. Okay, so uh, this is the two shares worth attention. I have uh, uh, I have intended to share with you, right? And then uh, I think now it's about the final part of my live broadcast. It's about individual stock diagnosis. What stocks you'd like to diagnose? Uh, I I I have seen one brand already put one stock very early, uh, and then uh uh I will I will diagnose this D D O G first, and how about others? Do you have some other stocks to that to diagnose? If you don't have, then I will just diagnose this one stock alone. If you still have some other stocks, you can write them down, okay? Or you can, uh, you can WhatsApp me privately. So okay, the first、uh, okay, the first one is D D O G, right? So D D O G. Oh, okay. So for this one, firstly, we check Monte Carlo Dragon. We realize that this is a very good stock to pick and to 
uh, keep monitoring and uh, trade to consider trading. And then after we have picked a good stock, and then the next problem is when to buy and when to sell, right? For medium term trading, okay? So for medium term trading, after this long term set way here and the price even drop below the yellow lines a bit, and when the price go back above the, sorry, go back above the yellow lines again, and it's the first recycle, Actually, this is a good timing to buy for medium term trading and also for short term, right? Because short term first recycle, right? After that, for short term trading, you follow the red and white circle, first white circle, sell for short term, right? And then after that, the circle turn red uh, the following day, right? So this means another buy point, but here, Pay attention, here we have a yellow Tai Chi signal, right? So we need to wait and see if the price unable to break up the high price of the yellow Tai Chi signal. This might mean the beginning of a significant correction. In near future, the price might drop significantly. So means this one is now is not that safe. We have some uh, danger alert signal. This is the yellow Tai Chi danger alert signal. But if the price can break up the high price of the yellow Tai Chi signal, means still quite safe. You can keep holding. So this share, if you have bought previously here, right? So you still can uh, keep a close eye on it. If in near future the price confirmed below the low price of the yellow Tai Chi signal, you can consider decrease position. Decrease position first for medium term trading, right? Decrease position to see uh, how uh, significant the correction can be. Our principle is as long as the correction remain above the yellow lines of homely rainbow, we can keep holding for medium term. We want to decrease position here. The reason is to secure our profit for this rally, right? So. If the after the, the end of the correction here, we can find another opportunity to increase position again at a lower position, right? This is for medium term. For short term trading, you have uh, followed the red and white circle, right? So you have bought here, you have sold away here. And if the second day, uh, when the circle turn red again, you have bought, here you need to pay very close attention here because Currently, we see the price unable to hit a new high here. For short term, it's weak. It's turning weak. Unless uh, in near future, the price can really break up the high price of the yellow Tai Chi, then means it, it would be uh, quite dangerous for short term trading. Better leave first. But now we are waiting, right? Because currently, the price is uh, still around the low price of the yellow Tai Chi. The price didn't really drop below the low of the yellow Tai Chi, right? Because the you see the yellow Tai Chi signal the following day, it opened low but close high, higher, the close price higher than the low price of the yellow Tai Chi. The following day, although it opened, after it opened, it dropped. But the close price is still around the low price of the yellow Tai Chi. So the market hasn't yet chosen the direction. But in near future, if the price drop below, the low price of the yellow Tai Chi. For short term trading, we better leave first and your final stop loss level, your final defense line would be the circle turn color to white. If you want to take some risks and want to keep holding uh, for the near future, still can do, but if the circle here turn white, you need to leave for sure, definitely you need to leave for short term trading. But if in near future the price break up the high price of the yellow Tai Chi, you can keep holding for short term trading. Okay, so this is about uh, uh, D -O -D -D -O -G, right? The next one uh, is about SGX, right? So SGX. Okay, so you don't have to <laughs> diagnose SGX every day. 
I, I think I already shared with you my uh, point of view about SGX in, uh, last Friday and also last Thursday, right? And uh, you can keep monitoring the indicators here, right? Okay, so someone else, do you have some other stocks diagnosed? If no other stocks, I will call it the end today. Uh, and if for others you you have you want to diagnose some other stocks, uh, maybe you can uh, uh, talk with me privately after the live broadcast. Okay, but before we finish, don't forget to follow me on face uh, on Facebook uh, my uh, public page right. So you can search on Facebook at uh, Homely Emily and get my profile. A picture here and also this is the part uh, the name of my public page called trade with homely charts you can like my page and uh, enter my uh, public page so that you will see all my previous videos and you will get the uh, uh, latest uh, not notice about my upcoming events and uh, videos right and if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumb up and also don't forget to share with your friends. Okay, so your promo, your uh, your uh, encouragement will be my biggest promotion. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye bye.